Hello again, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And uh, some very interesting news. Owen Farrell has officially been confirmed as a racing player uh, for the next two seasons. He will join Sia Khaleesi at the French club uh, next season and will play there uh, from July 2024 until 2026. And uh, you probably find this entire sort of uh, deal and stuff is, is one of the sort of foundations of him actually stepping away from international rugby uh, for a little bit. Although, ironically, uh, this actually does, if, if, for example, in a year's time, you know, whilst he might not be eligible to play for England, for example, and under the sort of eligibility rules and stuff like that, um, the the interesting thing about it is that he would still be eligible for the British Irish Alliance if he makes himself available. And I think it's a really good move for him, actually. I, I genuinely think that um, this is exactly the type of move he needs as a player. He needs to first of all, move away from Saracens for a bit, move away from England for a bit, and English fans, and the spotlight a little bit, and go to the top 14 and uh, get some confidence back. Um, but yeah, before you sort of break down some of the details and, and just why this could be such a good move for him, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So we know that Aaron Farrell is not going to be playing in the Six Nations this season. He has stepped away from international rugby. He says that he needs to focus on his mental health and his family's mental health, for example, and he needs to sort of basically get away from the spotlight. And uh, he's a very polarizing figure as Owen Farrell, uh, both you know, based all around the world. Obviously, he's had his issues with tactic, tackle technique, has received several red cards, for example. Uh, he's not the biggest, uh, uh, most popular person when it comes to sort of South Africa rugby. A lot of South African fans uh, don't like him after the tackle, for example, against Andre Estes and the likes and stuff like that. Um, and uh, a lot of English fans in the last year have really, I mean, they've even booed him at Twickenham, which was, which was quite hectic. And um, the reality is Owen Farrell is a world-class player. You know, whether you're a fan of him or not, whether you think he's still be playing or not, you look at his career, you look at what he's achieved, you look at his stats, for example, and he will go down as one of England's best players. Um, one of the British Irish Lions, top point scorers, for example. You know, he's a player who's played 112 games for England. He's played six British and Irish Lions games, uh, you know, scoring over 30, well over 30 points, for example. I think he was the top point scorer in that 2017 uh, Lions series. Uh, so he's been world-class for, for, for a long time. And um, he's been a big constant in that England side, which has really been up and down. Uh, he's captained there. And I think anybody that's played with him, for example, uh, Jamie George, I thought, did a really good um, sort of segment on him. And he was just saying... It's easy to sort of judge it from the outside. A lot of people don't like the way he talks to the referee, he says. But if you once you're in the environment, he says he's an unbelievably um, important player and a really good leader, for example. And uh, he's someone who, off the field, I've abs I don't think I've ever actually had an issue with anything he's ever said, anything he's way the way he's acted, for example. He's, you know, very honest in his interviews. I think he gets a lot of credit with credit due, for example. Um, but he's a he's a heart and a Steve type player. And uh, those players do tend to be quite polarizing because, you know, the, the competitiveness can sometimes come out uh, in the wrong sort of way. And uh, that kind of thing happened to him quite a few times. So I think that this move means he gets to go to, to France, gets to go to the top 14, he gets out of the limelight, you know, and he can go and play his rugby without having to worry about the English press, really, without having to worry about the pressure of playing for England. And he can go back to basics and start enjoying his rugby. I think that's the big thing about it. I think he needs to go start enjoying his rugby. Um, and being able to play in an environment which is conducive to enjoying it, maybe. And um, I think Ratsing, obviously, they're having a really good top 14 season, um, very much a contenders uh, at the moment, you know, being at uh, the top of the log with 40 points at the moment. They've got a four-point cushion. So this is a huge signing for them. You know, you're signing one of the best teams of the last decade. And um, I think that'll be a good environment for him. I think, and I think it looks like Sia Khaleesi settled in really nicely, playing very good rugby. Trevor Nikani is playing a bit more this season, which is nice to see. Um, and uh, Owen Farrell will be a very big addition for them uh, next season. He'll play Champions Cup. He'll play in the top 14. And uh, I think a two-year stint is, is, is a nice idea. I think it, obviously he's, been, he's 32 at the moment. Um, so he could be in contention to still be playing come the next World Cup um, for in, in, in 2027. Um, but so I think this is the right sort of move. You know, he's going to spend two years playing in France, for example, and uh, after that, he can make the big decisions. You know, will he then be, you know, moved to back to England, for example, for a season and try and make that World Cup squad? Will he call it a day, for example? Um, it'll be interesting to see how it sort of goes. But uh, let me know what you think of the signing down in the comments below, as well as what is, you know, do we think that we're still going to see him? For example, will he make another British Irish Lions tour next year? You know, will he still play for England again? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. 
Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.